All right, everybody, here we are at KPJ Empang Puteri Hospital in KL. We are getting our COVID test today to make sure we're safe to fly to Pakistan. Now, if you guys have been following along with our journey, you'll know that the first 10 countries or so uh, we went to, I was in the hospital like mm -hmm. six or seven times. You name it, I had it, sickness all the time. So mm -hmm. I'm having some flashbacks today. I'm a little bit nervous. I wore my, I wore my this is what peace of mind shirt looks like to try and <laughs> calm myself down. To be honest though, I'm trying to look at the bright side. There was one good part of going to the hospital so many times. There was one silver lining, which was, it's kind of interesting to see what different countries healthcare is like and kind mm -hmm. of see behind the scenes and see what the hospitals are like. So Ivana and I were thinking of doing the drive-through COVID test, which is already very interesting. Did you guys know there's a drive-through COVID test? Wow. You don't even get out of the driver's seat of your car. You just put the window down and you get a COVID test. We were thinking of doing that, but we said maybe if we're lucky, we can sort of peek behind the curtain. We can go into the hospital <laughs> and maybe see some Malaysian healthcare, Malaysian hospital footage. So we'll see if we can check out the hospital today, but at the very least, we will be getting our COVID test and we'll let you guys know what it's like getting a COVID test. I'm nervous. I feel nervous. I'm having flashbacks <laughs> of all my nose infection, sinus infection, stomach infection, skin infection, oh yo yo. Ooh, to be honest, this is the first time we're at a hospital in Malaysia. First so, time. So we've been doing pretty good. And yes. we're just here to get the COVID test today. We're not sick or anything. No. So <laughs> we should be fine with the test. We've been feeling yeah. healthy, but we'll see uh, see how it goes. All right. Okay. Next stop, inside KPJ Empang Puteri. Let's go. All right. So first things first. Check out the lineup of cars here. It is not even nine o'clock in the morning. So certainly best practice to get yourself an appointment. The staff here did say that if you just show up and walk in. You might be able to get a test right away, but certainly best practice would be get an appointment. And uh, the staff have already given us a refreshment and a little snack, as well as we did some paperwork, our address and our passport number, and we're getting ready. They've already begun preparing us for, uh, I guess it's a cotton swab up the nose. They began giving us some strategies on how to deal with this thing going far up your nose. A little bit uncomfortable, but uh, here we go. You nervous, Ivana? Super nervous. Are you nervous? Yes. So far seems really organized. The staff seem really helpful and they're giving us, you know, strategies. Don't move your head when it's in your nose <laughs> yeah. and breathe through your mouth. And they're really being helpful saying, should be fine. I think should they're doing COVID pass. tests all day at this location. Yeah. So we're just beside the hospital in a little tent here. They're doing drive through and walk-in appointment tests mm -hmm. all day long. They should be professional, organized, safe. Here we go, hoping for a good result. All right, two swap, one in the throat and one in the nose. In the throat and nose? Yes. Okay. So two drops. Same time or no? I'll do the throat first. Okay. Okay? Just need to open your mouth, stick your tongue out, look up. Yes, very good. See up. Uh? Fantastic. All right, now it's a nose drop. Mm -hmm. Close your mouth, breathing normally. Relax, close your mouth, breathing normally. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what's it like? What's it like? What's it like? <laughs> he said, oh, I need to sneeze now after that. Yo, I can't believe how far so. that uh, Q-tip went up your nose. <laughs> it hurts? No. I need the tissue. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. That's all. The second swap in the nose. Okay. Close your mouth. Look up. Breathing normally. Close your mouth. Look up, breathing normally. That's all. Done. No. Um, <laughs> really far, you know, little tears happening. To be clear, we walked here, we arrived here seven minutes ago, five minutes ago. Really organized, really quick. Um, it's really far in your nose. It's a little bit crying me. But certainly worth it. I mean, it's necessary for flying and super organized. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, it's, it's guys, it's like three seconds of discomfort. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. It's, it felt kind of funny. I feel like I have to cough, sneeze, <laughs> and clear my throat all at the same time. <clears throat> thank you, mask. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you. Oof. There you have it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, thank you. So now it's time to go dry my tears, and then maybe we can sneak in the hospital a bit. Bye. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. So we just had our cotton swab you saw, and the doctor who swabbed us actually says, oh, I know you guys. You're from YouTube. You've been in Malaysia for one year. So it was really special. And so we were looking, obviously, for someone to ask if we could have a tour or see inside the hospital. So we asked him, he already knew us. He said, absolutely. He introduced us to our friend here named Nazmi, who is in charge of the International Patient Center. I think we'll have a tour of the oncology department coming soon. Absolutely incredible. First things first, a quick introduction from our friend Nazmi. Hi, hello, my name is Nazmi. Uh, hello everyone, hello all the subscribers. Please subscribe <laughs> this channel again and again. All right, all right. Okay, uh, just, just to introduce about our hospital. We is KPJ Hospital in Malaysia. It's the biggest hospital network in Malaysia. And also, uh, here is KPJ Ampang Putri Specialist Hospital. So I can say that we can cover, we can treat anything. If you have the illness, you have the problem, except the money problem. We cannot <laughs> uh, treat the money problem. We cannot also uh, treat the love problem. That one is not our expertise. You have to refer to maybe the YouTuber itself is very expert in uh, the love problem. All right. Okay. Uh, what, what else I want to say about we are the hospital in Malaysia. Uh, we are really take care of the international hospital, international patient who's coming to the, our hospital to get treatment. So we can offer you to pick up from airport and bring to the hospital and get treatment here. And after finish all the treatment, we send you back to the airport and you can go back to your country. Exactly. All right. Wow. Okay. Exactly. Very special. Thank you, Nazmi. Yeah. Okay, all let's right. go check out the oncology department. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Let's go. Patient will lie down. Uh, usually, it's the normal uh, lie down, and then the machine is going to go in like this. Okay. We also have a laser, and we will set up patients as what uh, the doctors intended to. Right. This is then, MRI machine? No. No, this is a CT scan. CT scan. Yeah. For the brain scan. Uh, for every part of the body. Wow. Yeah. So this is a bigger ball. You see, uh, the normal CT scan is uh, about 70 cm uh, ball size, but this one is 80 cm. So 80 cm is quite a big, large ball. Mm. So we have another one is about 90 cm, but this is about 80, so much more than intended to. Uh, yeah. So the CT scan is for soft tissue or nervous system or? Uh, CT scan is for every part of the body. You can scan for the uh, soft tissue, the bone, and also for the uh, brain as well. Brain. Yeah. Wow, there you have it. Very nice. Wow, all right. So the CT scan would see the size and shape of the tumor. And then you would send those results right next door to someone whose job title is a medical physicist. Incredible job title, probably a super genius of a human being, and I think we're about to go meet them. So your job title is medical physicist. Oh, yes, medical physicist. Wow, amazing job title. So you can make sense of this uh, yes. and see After a problem. Doctor draw the package, so we will continue proceed for the dose calculation using the radiation to uh. show the package. So this is a breast case, so the patient bring um, the breast. Uh, Breast treatment. So this one is the target drawn by the doctor. So afterwards, we will calculate for the radiation dose to shoot for the this target for the treatment. Oh. So, then only for the so treatment. you can calculate the radiation yes. dose. Basically wow, yes. amazing work. Yeah, Good job. Thank you. <laughs> wow, amazing work. Wow, what an amazing lady. Medical physicist, she can look at those 3D images and she can see how much radiation is needed to cure the patient and then 
After that, the patient will be sent to this next machine we're going to see, which my understanding will be like a world-class, high-tech, very expensive, brand new machine, which actually administers the radiation. Let's go check it out. So whatever we do in the uh, CT simulation room will be the same position in here as well. Okay? okay. So let's say patient lie down with the, just a normal lie down, and we will set up patients according to what we've done in CT simulation. Right. Okay. Okay, let's say the patient is lying around here. So maybe a tumor around here. And this machine would administer radiation. radiations. Wow. Yeah. Okay? Right. Okay, you can see this is how the machines move. Alright. So imaging panels, we have two imaging panels. One is the mega voltage imaging panels, another one is kilo voltage imaging panels. So we can able to do uh, 3D imaging, so it's like a mini CT. So in order for us to visualize the treatment area, so that's how we uh, get the images from. Uh, so this is the KV imaging, and that will be the X-ray tube around there. Wow, it looks like this the barcode scanner at the grocery store. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it looks like it, but this is the areas that we treated. So you can see there's a thin line. Ah. So that's the light of the uh, treatment part. Wow. World class equipment. So this is why it's international patient services. I think people from all over the world are coming here because uh, high tech. New high tech technology. Wow, look at that machine. Looks like I'm in a, you know, some kind of futuristic sci-fi movie. Yeah. Phew, doctors are smart. Wow, you can you can really admire doctors and the work they're doing. It's like I feel so uneducated and so not worthy of these people's time. So smart. Mm -hmm. That machine is built in 2019. It's from Sweden and it takes like a super genius to manage it. You see how precise it is. What also I noticed was really interesting. In the ceiling, they had like pictures bamboo. of grass and bamboo. Um, part of this experience here is to try and relax the patient. Obviously a cancer diagnosis would be super stressful and totally upend your life. So part of it is trying to keep them at calm, keep them at ease. We mm -hmm. even saw a patient waiting area where they have hospital beds, but they also have like recliners and lazy boys and comfy chairs mm -hmm. trying to keep the patient um, optimistic and happy and not stressful. Right. This We're is an incredible experience. Learning so much this already. is way beyond my expectations. I really never thought that um, we were going to have a tour of a world-class oncology department. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we just saw the waiting room with the fancy Lazy Boy recliners, and now we're in something called the Orchid Premier Rooms. So we're going to see a patient room, uh, I think a really incredible, by the looks of it, you know, top-notch patient room. Let's check it out. So that was the premier VIP room, and right beside that, we are now in the junior VIP room. Still incredible. I mean, it's the nicest hospital room I've ever seen. This is way beyond what I thought I was gonna happen today. Just kind of asked for a little hospital tour, and we saw some world-class facilities. I'm absolutely blown away. This is incredible. Wow, guys, first things first, special thanks to KPJ and Pankutari. That was so far above and beyond what we could have asked for. We just wanted to see a little bit of the hospital. We got a full tour, absolutely amazing. This place seemingly has everything, even has an isolation ward, which they've agreed to try and maybe help the government if the public hospitals are overrun with COVID patients. Now that the third wave is happening, they can come here and use this isolation ward so they're helping the government and I gotta say something honestly there is let me say this there is nothing more noble in your life there is nothing more honorable there is nothing more worthwhile than helping people and honestly there's a feeling when you hang around doctors and when you hang around hospitals of profound admiration for the help these people provide super geniuses I mean, that lady whose job is medical physicist, the doctors we met, everybody there are so incredibly smart and talented and the machines are so high tech. There's a feeling you get hanging around them of like admiration for the 
just nobility and honor and just profound work they're doing. Um, obviously, not all of us are smart enough to be doctors, so we have to try and help each other simply by raising our children or donating our time or helping the community. But hanging out at a place like KPJ and Pang Putri was mind-blowing experience. I feel so humble to be mm -hmm. around those people. Um, just super geniuses who dedicate their entire lives to helping people. Absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely speechless. Yes. So we will wait for tomorrow for our results. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the COVID test, not really painful. <laughs> not painful. More it just. Felt, it felt like a tickle to your brain a little bit, and it felt like I wanted to sneeze when they put the right thing. It wasn't painful. It was more uncomfortable. The yeah. thing is, when they go in there, once they're really far in, they spin it. They spin the Q-tip, which makes you want to sneeze. <laughs> and you're thinking, if I sneeze, I'm gonna pop my eye out of my head or something. <laughs> so um, not painful just uncomfortable but super organized and blown away by the facilities yeah. here i mean Thanks. international people are all coming from all over the world to uh go to this oncology department as well as a bunch of other departments we heard yes. one story of a guy from tuvalu the country of tuvalu who had six months to live and this was years ago and he came here and mm -hmm. it's like saved his life people are um People are so amazing to have these facilities and help. I really never expected right. to see some world-class facilities here in Malaysia. Maybe by now, after one year in Malaysia, I should have expected that if I ask for something, people are gonna say, absolutely, and I'll do you one better, I'll do you more than that. The Malaysian hospitality, yeah. the Malaysian hospital hospitality. Oh! Yeah. And all the doctors, the nurses, they all speak English and they have translators of different languages. True fact. So check out Korean, their website. Korean, Russian, Japanese, Arab, the yeah. list goes on. Check out their website at KP KPG Hospitals and also special thank you to wow. Malaysia, the world healthcare marvel. Boom! Thank you guys. Good one, Ivana. Also wanted to mention a few small things I noticed. One, it seems like every hospital I've ever been to in any country has the same layout in terms of the way the walls are white. There's that banister on the wall for the hospital beds to bump into. The floor is made of the same thing. I don't know how internationally every country has agreed on a certain construction of hospitals, <laughs> right down to hospital smell. Mm -hmm. I've been to hospitals in seven countries now. Across all seven countries, hospitals always smell the same. What is that? Medication? <laughs> disinfectant? I don't know what it is, but hospital smells real. One thing unique about Malaysia, um, if you noticed, the female doctors, they were calling them sisters. Hmm. They were introducing them as, this is sister so-and-so, this is sister so-and-so. I found that to be unique and memorable. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm pumped up. I'm talking a mile a minute. I'm really... <laughs> blown away by the facilities and the graciousness mm -hmm. and just the incredible work these people are doing all right malaysia really good, best really good healthcare system in malaysia they got the government health care and also the private health care yep. and they work together to help each other as well so yeah yeah yep, yep. especially during this COVID 19 Boom. time so thank you malaysia for really really providing especially foreigners here good health care boom there you options. have it so yeah. guys we'll see you tomorrow when we get our COVID results. Right. I mean, we're pretty positive that it will be negative. negative. Sorry, we're Hopefully. pretty confident it'll be negative. Hopefully. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Special thanks to KPJ and Pang Putri Hospital. And also Malaysia, the world's healthcare marvel. Thank you. Boom. See you guys tomorrow. Dun, 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 dun. The nervous? results are in. The results are in. Do you feel Yay. nervous? Uh, not really, because I've been feeling pretty healthy, but you never know, because you might have no symptoms, but you can still be oh, shoot. tested Good positive. Good so point. I thought it was a slam see. dunk that we're negative because no symptoms. We could have no symptoms and be a carrier. I doubt it. What does it say? Okay. It's mine. It's yours. Negative. Boom. Healthy. Ready to fly. And yours. Are you nervous? Mine might say, mine might say um, the healthiest man I've ever lived. <laughs> are you nervous? No. Uh, I don't think you are. You're overconfident. Here's a question. Here's a question. If it's positive, will you go to Pakistan without me? Ta -da. <laughs> no, of course I would not. I'll wait for you, Steve. Come on. I would not leave you behind. Will you go to Pakistan without me? Ivana, I'll never leave your side, baby. Okay. Even if you're sick, okay?
Congratulations, Steve and Greg. Boom. You have passed the, test. passed the test. You got a negative result. First test I ever passed without even studying. Oh. All right, so we need to bring this uh, to the airport to be able to get on a plane. There you have it, guys. Mm -hmm. Boom. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. I had a blast filming this one. Oh, forgot to mention how much the test costs. Mm -hmm. How much it cost? Uh, 300 ringgits. Uh, if you book an appointment ahead of time, it would be slightly cheaper than just showing up or walking. Boom. So book your appointment ahead of time to save a little bit of money. Boom. Uh, more info can be found on our description. description. And also pin comments. So there you have thank it, guys. you for KPG Ampang Putri, KPG Hospital. Thank you so much, Malaysia Healthcare. Thanks. Good one, Ivana. Mm -hmm. See you in the next vlog, guys. Yay. Stay healthy, stay negative. <laughs>